Hi, Amy McLean here with the Keys Team, Business Management. So happy you joined me today. Today, I'm here to talk about portfolios and why it is so important to make sure that you are tracking your children within your program. There's a lot of different ways that you can track your children's progress within your program. And today, I'm gonna to go through what components you should have within a portfolio for a child. So some programs, like to do tracking on their own within a computer system. Teaching Strategies Gold is a great assessment tool um, and curriculum based. So it talks about the whole child curriculum and it's connected to assessments. Um, they collect system uh, data that does and analyzes things on their, their own. So you have that system in place and it's a lot easier for a child or children's progress and administration to view that because it's automatically compiling data along the way. So it's great for the parents. Parents are able to look at that and view it at all times and teachers are able to update that daily and it's tracking it for you. So that's a really easy component, computer-based, and then let's face it, everybody nowadays is going technology-based. Uh, we're super busy and it's a lot easier if somebody else is collecting the, you know, having the data compiled on their own, right? And you can just enter it, um, but, you know, some of us are old school like myself and we like to do things written and a lot of programs are like that. So t today I'm gonna kind of show you some written ways that you can track children's progress. You can have basic portfolios, so a larger um, portfolio um, or just something small, um, just a green file folder, doesn't cost much. When you're opening up, you should have the child's name, obviously in there, maybe a picture of the child. Um, maybe a, a self-portrait that they're doing on their own, which is a great way to see if the child starts out with just one eye and one nose and half of a mouth, and then they progress into adding hair, uh, you know, maybe some arms in there. So, and you know, just like you're doing it technology-based, if it's written um, in front of you, you really should be tracking the children two times per, per, per year. So you should be doing a portfolio showing two times per year once in the spring and once in the fall. So you really can see how a child is progressing. Some photographs. So parents are gone all day long and they're paying a fee, right? To see where their children are developmentally. So in order to do that and to track that, you really need to be taking pictures of the children engaged in various activities so you can see exactly what they're doing. So photographs of them in language, you know, literacy, science, math, block center, housekeeping, um, exactly what they're doing. So photographs are a great way to show developmentally where the child is within the classroom setting. Artifacts, how are you, are you collecting work samples? So different things that they're doing throughout their day at school, um, you're gonna be collecting those and putting it uh, within your portfolio. Anecdotal notes, what is an anecdotal note? A lot of people have that question. Well, it's a, an anecdotal note is documenting exactly what the child is doing within, a, within the program. So it could be, you know, within a science area, within the blocks area, exactly your direct observation as to what the child is doing in that particular center, the date and the time, um, and exactly what the teacher observed. This is a great way to see developmentally where the child or where your children are within your classroom setting. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a developmental assessment so you're assessing the child on their particular age level. Sometimes you like to do the age prior to see where they are, um, or if they're really advanced, you know, you might go to that next age group because um, they might be able to meet some of those. And once again, fall and spring, so you can see how the child is progressing. And then you always wanna make sure you're documenting it when you're meeting with the families, which should be fall and spring twice per year. Um, it's really, really important. Parents, like I said, are paying that fee. It's really important to sit down with the families so they know exactly where their child is when they start within your program and where they are um, you know, at the end of that school year. We are sending our future leaders off into school, right? Elementary school one day. And it's really, really important that they have the basic knowledge, literacy skills, so you can send them off successfully. All right. Well. That's what we have today for the portfolios, and I'm so happy you joined us. I would look forward to our next video. Have a wonderful day.